Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today, what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about multiplayer for No Man's Sky. And no, this isn't another April Fool's video. This is a legitimate video about No Man's Sky and the multiplayer aspect of the game. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how multiplayer would have worked according to Sean Murray, at least that is, back in 2014 before release. Obviously, multiplayer does not exist in No Man's Sky at the moment, at least a traditional sense that people wanted, where you could see other players, interact with them, and the whole world would kind of be shared between players, as you will. They weren't just like invisible ghosts that floated around and name shit, you could actually see other people. Now, there is an article which I found from, to be honest with you, a very, very long time ago. And when trying to find videos regarding this article and regarding the subject of why there isn't multiplayer in the game, I could find barely any, at least none that were like an hour long and really, really complicated. So today I thought I would take this article, which will be linked in the description down below for you to see, and just making it into an easy to understand video for how multiplayer would have worked and how it can work if it were to be in the same format as it stated in this article. So obviously, multiplayer for No Man's Sky was a major selling point of the game, even though it was said multiple times that it was super unlikely to ever find anyone, you could do that. And the thought of that was exciting. And still to this day, I think about that and it excites me. I understand how No Man's Sky is trying to go about with space in the game, where it's kind of this whole aspect of you being alone. The game feels incredibly lonely at some points, and that's most definitely on purpose, but a lot of people, including myself, would love to see multiplayer, and of course we don't have that at this point in time. And that did disappoint a lot of players, and it could be argued that was probably one of the biggest reasons for the game's downfall. That wasn't the only thing, obviously, I mean, that's for another video, to be honest with you, the, the reason why people got disappointed but for the most part multiplayer was a really really big advertisement for the game and even though multiplayer doesn't exist in no man's sky a lot of things are still unknown about it there are a lot of questions left unanswered especially before the game released because we were just simply told that you would be able to see your friends if you could find them but so many things were just left in the dark like if you did see them can you get killed by them can you steal their resources if they were to blow a hole in a planet you were on would you be able to see that hole could you steal their ships and sell them you know there were so many things that were unanswered which will be detailed in a later video in a bit more of a speculative kind of system but as i said today we're going to be talking about how it would have worked in 2014. So pretty much the backbone to multiplayer was this idea of a lobby system. And this interview in 2014 with Sean Murray stated pretty well how this would work. And this is coming directly from big man Sean himself. And he said the following. What we can do is, like many games that you have at the moment where you are flying around with an open lobby, people are coming into that lobby and leaving it, Murray explained. I guess the whole of the entire community could organise to go to one specific spot and then they would find that they weren't all there at the same time. Now there's a bit of strange wording in this, it does almost seem like a little bit grammatically incorrect at some points, but I guess you could say because it was spoken and it's more of like a sort of a transcript than anything else. But this is the quote that we care about. So the article goes on to detail some really confusing shit to do with pretty much what this means, but in simple terms, all Sean Murray is stating is that each lobby in No Man's Sky would have a certain amount of players in that lobby, and when that lobby exceeds the amount of people in it, a new one will be created. So essentially, only the people in your lobby will be visible, so those in others won't be visible, and this would explain how the hardware wouldn't explode with the amount of people playing it. Because if the game had multiplayer and it wasn't shit at launch, there'd be a pretty healthy community. At the moment, there's like a max of 1,500 people playing, but even still, to load in 1,500 people's individual movements and the effects on the environment and the economy and shit like that, it'd be pretty heavy on the hardware, unless they relied on some fat-ass cloud storage like, uh, what's his face, Crackdown 3. But pretty much, this explains how your computer would not set on fire, because it wouldn't load everyone in it'd only be those 
in your lobby so it pretty much says as well to see another player two people have to be in the same spot and in the same lobby that's how the feature existed as of 2014 so that is essentially the information so that is direct confirmation from sean murray back in 2014 that no man's sky would have some kind of lobby system which is like a common feature for most games to be honest with you so i'm just going to talk a little bit about this and talk about perhaps how this may have worked now the idea of a lobby seems to suggest multiple different things for one in the article it states that it's an open lobby meaning anyone can hop in and out all of the time however i wonder if because it's an open lobby you can invite friends directly to join you that would make a lot more sense after all if you're trying to see your friends and they're in a different lobby you're not going to be able to see them so if you were to invite them directly to your session that would make a lot more sense and also there's a question of could you perhaps close off the lobby make it privatized so you could have just like a few close friends in there and no one else like essentially a private match but all of this is just speculation we don't know because there are so many things that were just left unanswered or very very vague and this is most definitely one of them what happens if all of the lobbies get full up then what happens there's so many things that you could ask about this game and i'm going to put my little tinfoil hat right now and speculate a little bit now hear me out on this don't hate on me straight away okay what if these lobbies do exist at this point in time there is a lobby feature for no man's sky but because the player count is too small to actually find someone both in your lobby and your location your exact location it's impossible maybe that is why no one has actually seen each other and of course people say that that stream of the two people that met each other disproves this this obviously shows that it isn't multiplayer but if you take sean's direct words about him saying that you have to be both in the lobby and the same location surely they could have just been in different lobbies so this is all speculation, as I said. It's a really, really far-fetched idea, and to be honest with you, I'm just clinging onto any kind of blind bit of hope possible, but just hear me out for this little bit. What's most important about this source and the article and everything that says in this article is the fact that if this feature did exist, or at least a method of creating multiplayer was a reality then there's nothing to say that it cannot be added with a new content update a lot of people have speculated for time now that a multiplayer update for no man's sky is quite likely i agree with this especially with the addition of as i say all the time loads of multiplayer features like seeing other players bases and sharing stuff with them leaving messages it does seem like they're gonna build up to one big reveal so if the idea was there and maybe they didn't have the technology the time or the budget to make it into a thing now with the time because they're not particularly under any pressure to release new shit they can spend as much time as they need actually putting this into practice as opposed to it just being a little bit of uh, notes on a on a bit of paper or what have you so that is pretty much it that is how multiplayer would have worked in no man's sky at least according to sean murray back in 2000 and 14 i hope this cleared some stuff up but of course we will never know the full extent of how multiplayer would have worked because they are extremely secretive about it and don't particularly like to talk all too much about it but that is the end of the video guys if you did enjoy this video or found it interesting then please do feel free to show your support by dropping a like on the video if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skimp boot signing out